I've spent the last few weeks doing some research on side hustles for women over 50. The goal here is to have some extra money in order to plan for retirement or just make ends meet at the grocery store. So I've come up with 27 different side hustles that I think might work for you. And you can do any of these for just a few hours a week to bring in some extra money. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you don't know me, I'm the owner of FrozenBennies.com. I'm a financial coach. And as a family, we are debt free. While researching side hustles for women over 50, I came across some very outlandish things and some things that just didn't give you money right away. It's like invest in this job and then in a year or two, we'll give you the money. Well, I know that doesn't necessarily work for you. It wouldn't work for me. So I narrowed down these 27 side hustles that would bring you in money right away within a couple of days and could bring you up to $1,000 a month. Now, before we get started on these 27 ideas, I really want to encourage you to think about the things that you like doing, that you find enjoyment from and that you're good at. Because having a side hustle around something that you enjoy is going to save you from burned out or boredom and you're going to be encouraged to do it just a little bit more. Number one, teach a class. There's this whole popular movement going around where I live, paint and sip, where you go to a paint studio, they give you a canvas, you have a glass of wine and you paint the picture that the teacher is demonstrating. There's also something going on where it's a specific craft. So somebody comes to your house, sort of like a Tupperware party, and teaches you how to create the craft. They send a list of supplies to each person so the person has the supplies before the night of the party itself. And then the person comes in and demonstrates how to make this craft. It could be something like one of those big tall porch signs. Each person pays $25, $35, $50 to the instructor and the instructor teaches you how to create this craft. There are so many different classes that you can teach from a cooking class to a beginner's automotive fix-it class. Anything that you find that other people might benefit from knowing could be your class to teach. Number two, costume character. So what if you dressed up as Big Bird for kids' birthday parties? You could rent the costume and then pay a fee to be Big Bird at a kid's birthday party. Number three is a more seasonal job in my area, gardening. This could be anything from planting somebody's vegetable garden to creating flower boxes in their front yard to even just maintenance like weeding and lawn care and trimming shrubs. You could even stretch the season by doing fall cleanup as well. Number four, sewing. This is fascinating to me because there's a whole movement on no paper paper towels and no paper cloth napkins. I saw so many ideas for cloth napkins and no paper paper towels on Etsy. This might be a perfect opportunity for you to make some extra money by creating these things. Not a lot of sewing skills are involved here. It's mostly just straight lines. And if you have a serger or you want to pick one up at a discounted price, you can serge the edges to make it a little bit easier. There are also other things that you can sew, like nine block quilts and curtains for people that are also a fairly low educational sewing ability. Consider also specialty items like pillowcases. Bed sheet sets come with two pillows. Most of the people that I know have more than two pillows on their bed. So you're going to need an extra set of pillowcases. Why not make it something customizable? Number five, cooking for people. I can't tell you how many times I've said to my husband, if I could, I would hire somebody to bring me four dinners to feed my family each week. That way I can just throw them in the oven, take them out, and they would be done. They would be to my tastes, and they would be healthy, and they would be homemade without all of the preservatives. If you like to cook and you know families who are working families and busy who would rather have home-cooked meals instead of takeout or DoorDash all the time, consider making good quality home-cooked 
home comfort foods for other families. And number six, cleaning. If you love to clean and have an eye for detail, consider one or two houses a week and clean them. I know young moms who do this. I know women who are in their 50s who do this. I even know women who have made a full-time business from cleaning other people's homes and restaurants and offices. Number seven, a super fun one, childcare. Now this could be after school a couple of days a week. This could be evenings. This could be weekends. This could even just be date night. Babysitters are making really good money. When I was a teenager, I was making really good money, $3.33 an hour. So I had a stint every Friday night to watch two little boys and made $10 for three hours of work. It's come a long way since then. Now they're getting like $35 an hour for two kids. That's pretty good money. Number eight, pet sit or pet walking. This would be perfect for somebody who works all day long and needs somebody to come in and take their poor Labradoodle out for a walk during the day or just check on them. It could also be somebody who's going away for the weekend or a week and needs somebody to come in every day to feed and walk and let their pet out. There are people who also have this side hustle and take four, five, six dogs out for a walk every day. It's decent money. If you're active and you like walking, this might be the perfect side hustle for you. Do you love to bake bread? How about pies? Do you have the perfect pie crust? Have you considered selling those things? Do you love pumpkin rolls? My friend Kimmy makes the best pumpkin rolls. Now she only makes her pumpkin rolls to sell around Thanksgiving time. It's always been a way for her to get more money to buy Christmas presents for her kids were little. Now it's just something that the people expect and they're so delicious. If you have a specialty, a baking specialty, consider baking those things and selling them. Number 10, laundry service. Imagine you have a washer and dryer. It's only you, maybe a small family, you don't really do a whole lot of laundry. But every day, somebody, somewhere, drops off a load of laundry to your house in a bag. You wash it, you dry it, you fold it, put it back in the bag, they pick it up, and they pay you. It's a laundry service. Sometimes people do it by pound. Sometimes people do it by load. Maybe you're home all day. Maybe you are retired. Maybe you have a full-time job and can do one or two loads of laundry in the evening for somebody. They can pick it up the next morning. It's not a lot of work and people pay for those kinds of services. Number 11, clothing alterations. Many times, I'm speaking from experience, I'll buy a pair of pants and it's too long because I'm 5'3". Many times I'll buy a skirt that just needs to be hemmed because it's way too long. People will pay for things like this to make them fit them better. Sometimes you just need something fixed. The zipper out of that really fantastic, good quality coat needs to be replaced. Why not take it to somebody who knows what they're doing, knows their way around a sewing machine or a needle and thread, and can fix those things for you. Number 12, selling your crafts, whether it's an Etsy store or going around to craft fairs. I know this time of the year, craft fairs are in abundance, but we have a farmer's market every single week in two different neighboring towns. If there's a specific craft that you like making and are good at, this might be a perfect opportunity to bring some extra money in. Number 13, a tour guide. There are bus companies that hire people to give tours around their areas. So if you're a history buff and you know a whole bunch about where you live, you might want to consider seeing if a tour guide is available for your city. This will give you some great interaction, some social interaction, and allow you to share your talents and your knowledge with others. Number 14, work special events. I know the Performing Arts Center in my area, which is only a seasonal venue, will hire the retired to work their events, like concerts, plays, and musicals. 
It's a nice way to experience some music or a play without paying for it, and you help people find their seats with a little flashlight and make some extra money. Other places that are year-round venues will hire retired people for their events as well. So depending on where you live and what's in your area, you might want to look at this for a little extra money. Number 15, sell books on Amazon. If you're like me and you tend to look at books on Amazon, you'll always notice that they have a buy used button. This is for private individuals who have the books and are selling them and shipping them themselves. I'm going to leave a couple of links below for some apps that help you with Amazon and books. So if you're going thrifting or to garage sales, you can scan the ISBN or the barcode with your phone so you know how much these books are going for on Amazon. It's a nice little side hustle. And if you're a lover of books like I am, this might be the perfect opportunity for you to make some money. Number 16, run errands for people. There are a lot of people out there who are just too busy to run the errands. For example, taking those Amazon purchases back to the UPS store is kind of a hassle for me. I would definitely pay somebody who was heading that direction anyway a few dollars to take them back for me. It would be easier because it's so far out of my way that it might be easier just to hire somebody to do it. You could be that person. Number 17. If you're a teacher or were a teacher or have a teacher's heart, you might want to consider teaching English online. There are a lot of companies that will hire you to teach English as a second language to children overseas. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for a couple of places that you can look into to see if you might be a good fit. Number 18. If you're super savvy with social media and a computer, and email, you might want to consider being a virtual assistant. There are a lot of people who have online businesses and work from home who are looking for people to do those tasks that they just don't have time for. When it comes to weeding out the important and unimportant emails from your email provider, forwarding the most important things, or just posting things to social media, a virtual assistant is a godsend for people who don't have the time to do everything. Number 19, if you were a data and numbers person who may have worked in accounts receivable or knows how to do bookkeeping, having a bookkeeping side hustle is a great idea. If you consider yourself an expert in QuickBooks or would rather just use a spreadsheet, Having somebody that knows what they're doing to keep the books for a small business or organization is so helpful. And if it's something that you love to do, it's a great way to make some extra income. Number 20. Now, I have heard of this one, but I've never done it. Have you ever sold plasma? This is something that's pretty fascinating to me. Nobody around here does it. I would have to travel an hour away to sell my plasma, but you can get $100 each time you sell plasma, and it's a need in the medical industry. Number 21, if you love to shop, shop for others. Consider someplace like Instacart and grocery shop for others and deliver it for them. The joy of Instacart is that it's already prepaid through the app, so you don't necessarily have to go into somebody's house or even make contact. Everything is done through the app. You simply deliver the groceries to their porch or in front of their door, knock and say thank you very much and leave. It's much safer as far as I'm concerned than maybe driving for Uber for a woman over 50. Number 22, are you a super neat person who loves to organize other people's stuff? How about being a personal organizer? Gosh, I love that show, that home edit show on Netflix that just shows you how they go in and organize. If this is your strong suit and your hobby, you might want to consider making some money off of it. How about sitting with the elderly? I know that in my area, it's really hard to have help for the elderly. This little town really doesn't have the staff and nobody seems to want to come here to help. 
So having somebody who sits and chats with an elderly gram or does a little bit of dishes, maybe helps prepare a little bit of lunch, those are really abundant jobs. People are looking for others to give companionship and a little light housework to those elderly who might be ill, just elderly, or suffering with dementia or Alzheimer's. It's a great way to make some extra money and do something nice for somebody. Number 24, the same goes for special needs, children and adults. As a special needs parent, I know that the state will allow me in my state to pay somebody for respite for myself. However, it's hard to find somebody who wants to sit and care for a special needs adult. Special needs children seem to be a little bit easier to find, but special needs adult is a little bit more challenging. If you are in good physical condition and have a lot of patience, consider sitting with a special needs adult. Number 25, cookie creations. There's a girl in my hometown who makes cookies. Now she doesn't make the super fancy sugar cookies, she just makes regular peanut butter, oatmeal raisin, chocolate chip, the traditional cookies, and she posts on Facebook when she has them available. People will pay her money for her dozen of cookies. Also, she makes truffles and she does special collaborations for the holidays. I also know somebody else who's one of those fancy sugar cookie makers. She gets $25 to $35 a dozen for fancy decorated sugar cookies. That's a pretty decent amount. If your skills allow you to get fancy with sugar cookies, you might want to consider starting up a little business in your home. Number 26, write books and publish through KDP on Amazon. The joy of writing books today is, with the technology the way it is, between ChatGPT, which is an AI software, and something like Grammarly, which will help you with spelling and grammar mistakes, if you have an idea for a book, it's easier than ever to get started. You can sell your book on Amazon. They take care of everything. I'm going to leave a link to KDP and a little bit more information in the description below. You might want to consider being an author. Number 27, host a student. If you have the space in your home, consider hosting an exchange student going to the local high school or college. This pays very well per semester and offers the student a place to live. I have a friend who did this for years. She used to host students from Mexico in her home because she lived close to the university. Most of these jobs you can make decent money on if you've got a little bit of hustle. Now, depending on how many hours you have available, how much you wanna put into it, will also depend on how much you get out of it. Now you have to have the skill, so it's not gonna work for you to do alterations if you don't know how to sew. But there might be one or two ideas in here for you that work to bring you in a little bit extra money. It does mean that you have to have the time to put in. None of these are really that passive income that people brag about online. Don't believe anybody who says that you can make money by doing nothing. It's not true. I hope you found this interesting and please let me know more ideas that you might have for women over 50 to make some extra money. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.